Lion Eye View TV. I am the host, Sir from L, with my brother, Dwayne Robinson Bladon Mario. He's from Belize City, and he do East Indian dancing, and he will explain to you all the different dancing in the East Indian um, order. Zion I view TV, this is the Zion I view TV Anytime you see me, I'm always bridging that gap you see From Corazon to PG, I guess I'm about to release it Always in some kind of industry, always a heaven up who used to be free Always healing up his majesty, but come no Empress Menin is the key Half a balance every energy Come set the pace and set the people free Give thanks to the ancestors I say to Allah, I have predecessors Who paved the way and helped to make it so much, so much better In this a time, so I and I could come and be has lepers And do the rise and make the chains and dots where all the better We love to Philip Wilson and Antonio Sobaranis A couple of we heroes when I get them proper homage We love to meet John Roberts and Miss Gwen Lizaraga A couple of we heroes will help get you through the saga I say to Carl Bush and his beliefs as great as Dr. Another a we hero worth to mention in the factor Henry Fair with the and Murphy V and Z we got big up, blessed love and blessed be We got to Mr. Peters and Miss Leela Vernon A couple of we legends when we come for bless the sermon We got to Andy P and Mr. Paul Namor And here's to all we heroes as we know that many more Lion I view TV This is the Zion I view TV Every time you see me I'm always bridging that gap you see From Coruscant to PG I disababa to Belize City Always in some kind of industry Always a helping up the used to be free Lion Eye TV With your host, Pre Seraphim L This is the Zion Eye view you see Bridging the gap from Belize to Africa Africa to Belize Land of the gods with the cool breeze Means That your art they represent Lion Eye view TV With your host, Pre Seraphim L this is the I, Rastja Art, you represent. Lion I View TV. Mile 41. Representing for Faces Production. Lion I View TV. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lion I View TV. We're here again with another guest. And your name is. Dwayne Robinson Bladon Mario. And I am the host, Seraphim L. Live and direct on Lion Eye View TV. This is a artist, he's a dance artist. And when it comes to dancing, he do Indian, different Indian dancing, the tradition dancing. So you will learn something from Dwayne. He's a good friend of mine, I know the brother a lot. And I, I know him from when he first started. And he really expands on his talent more. So it's up to each and every one to know that you have the ability and the capability to carry on and pursue whatever um, vision you have, you know, because we are all talented people and God sent Godhead. So, mm -hmm. um, brother, um, Dion, um, yes. how, how, how has it been going on with you? It's been good. It's been excellent. All right. I'm grateful for the journey that I've been doing with my dancing. Okay. And a little bit to expand more the dancing, it's called Bharat Natyam. I do two styles. Bharat Natyam. Bharat Natyam. All right. And so it comes from three words, Bhava, Raga, and Natyam. Okay. So Bhava is the, the emotion through your facial expression, you, you have to tell the story. That's, that's the dancing. The dancing, right. Story. So you're, you're not just a dancer, but you're also an actor or actress. Uh, expressionist. Telling, uh, exactly. And through doing that, you're telling the stories, the mythologies of the Ramayana, or the Mahabharata, of the deities such as Lord Krishna, Mahadev Shiva, or the goddess like Kalima, Ma Durga. So it's a story and a dance. So right. the dancers, male and female, do this type of dance. This what I have on is the traditional outfit that the males would wear. This was sent to me by my dance teacher, Guru Rajesh Singhat in Kuwait. Trinidad. Okay. And so he also does another dance style to call Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi. So right. So just like how we here in Belize have different dance styles, for example, like in PG have the 
they, they are dance. Maybe in Orange Rock have the hog head dance. Uh, in Sand Creek have punta. Each district have their own style. All right. The same thing occurs in India. In Mother India, each state have their own style of dance. So Bharatanatyam came from Tamil Nadu. Katak is more from the northern Indian states like Uttar Pradesh. Uh, there's like uh, Kuchipuri comes from a village named Kuchipuri. Okay. Then they have uh, Odisha, which is also another dance style that came from there. All right. From the state called Odisha. Okay. Um, another style is called Katakali, very more elaborate than what I have on. All right. So, but again, I'm very grateful for the elder to created this outfit and also a blue one for me, okay. and he sent it to me. How I got this one. This, this purple one was when I went to Trinidad for Cari Festa in 2019. All right. And I must do say I am grateful to Nitch and also to my good friend Musa Shahid, who is the youth ambassador right now to Belize for Cari Festa. It was through Musa and through Nitch that they asked me if I would want to be part of the Cari Festa uh, delegation to okay. go and be part of with um, Brother Obi. Okay. Because they don't know that I... I'm Eastern Anderson, but I'm also what they would call Dougla. I mix with, with Creole as well. Okay. I must, you know, as Belizeans, we, we have all different style, different uh, Background, ethnic yes. backgrounds and all that. So, but everything connect. Everything connect, yeah. exactly. Got so the way how you express yourself, like you really did some <laughs> researches, like you, was, like, 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 like you was living in India. Yes, and I you know, you, trust you me. You haven't been there yet. <laughs> I <laughs> find out each surname of the Belizeans, East Indians here could trace you back to which part of Mother India we came from, more or less. All right. So like, my family surname was Robinson, right. but it was changed from Robin Singh to Robinson, because okay. the British couldn't understand the language and couldn't understand our surname, so they changed it up. And some of the variations that we have here are some variations in Trinidad and Guyana and so forth. Okay. So, forth. so for example, you have um, Gil Harry, we as know it as, but in Trinidad they call it Grid Harry. Okay. We spell it H A R R Y here, but that's they spell it H A R I. That's a Hindu. Indian a Hindu name. Mean, exactly. Oh. Then some people like uh, Belize here we have Ram Clam, but then back in Trinidad, they, I find the the um, how do you call it the list of names of the indentured workers that came there in their museum. And this is so beautiful about them in Trinidad is that they could literally tell you the name of the ships, what year, which person came on it, the, the surname. Ram Kelawan, that's a variation of Ram Klam here, All right. or Ram Kalam. So, different things change up. I could see you live in it, you, re <laughs> you really eat, sleep and drink I it. drink my culture and I know how to speak a little bit of Hindi. And so... And you've never been to um, India, India before? India before, just watch YouTube, the videos and, right. and have friends who are of uh, Indian background here in Belize for the Sindhis yeah. on, on or like say Albert Street who oh. teach me a little bit more right. about the culture. And then from there, I expand a little bit more, you know, self-teach myself and... Look. So tell me something, um, when did you start this urge and this vibe? What inspired you? Who, who drew, drove you or direct you well, into shaping, shaping your, this. your um, dance? Um, I would say for you. me, the whole thing started with my grandmother because God rest the dead. Because she was the only person in my household or the neighborhood, I should say, is the same background. And I asked her, but why you look different? And she says she's Eastern. And unfortunately, she died. She, I hate the word died, but she transitioned. Okay. So, Sitaram, Namaste. As the brethren had said, my name is Dwayne Ravensing Blaine Mario. And I'm the only person doing Bharat Natyam and Katak, two dance styles of Indian classical dance that Mother India has, doing it here in Belize. How I got to learn from it is through how in 2014 there was an East Indian Indo Caribbean conference in Corozal and a dancer who does Katak came and teach the basics of Katak and it was through that that I picked it up from her and when she left I was able to see more her videos and videos from other dancers and people who are in Trinidad as well and I just expand on that other dancers do Bharat Natyam I learned from them as well and eventually in 2015, 2016, a young man came from Pinal Trinidad and teach the basics of Bharat Natyam too, along with Bollywood style. And it's from there I was able to learn more about Bharat Natyam. Same concept, I wrote on YouTube videos, 
videos from other dancers and eventually doing live feeds on it. and professional dancers from out of Trinidad saw my potential and asked me where you're from. I said Belize. One said dancer, an elder who looked up I look up to, who gave me the blessings with two outfits. This pink outfit and another one which is a blue outfit was from my elder and a friend and guru, Guru Rajesh Sinat. He does Kuchipudi, which is another dance style. But the costumes, they vary, they look similar. The blue costume I got from him was in approximately 2018, thereabout. He sent it to me to, through a friend who was studying in uh, Kwerep, in his neighborhood, the steel pan music. The friend came back not too, I would say maybe a week or so after my birthday. And that was my birthday gift with the costume. And I told the Guru, Guru Rajesh that I got the costume. And it was true that I was able to, to grow more with the costume. And with his teachings and, and his advice, he would tell me, you know, you need to do this more, you need to do that more. You know, as if though he was my teacher there. But unfortunately, I'm not there in Trinidad, but at least through video conference and so he could teach me. And then through 2019 of Kare Festa, thanks to Nitch, Brother Obe and a good friend of mine, Musa Shahid, the Carifesta Youth Ambassador. I was blessed with the opportunity to go to Trinidad to play in Carifesta with Brother Obe in his band because I also do the Shaka Maracas in the Creole band called the Maroons. Oh, so you have another band that you play We in. play in a, in a Creole band and that's why I'm multi-talented. Dance and music is what I do as well. So the Maracas is what I play, the drums, the djembe drum, and the samba and kinkini drums is what I play. But my main tool is the maracas. Okay. So, thanks to brother Obi, he recommended that I go with him to Trinidad to play in his band. And it was awesome. It was an excellent experience. I literally cried when I was there in Trinidad with, to see the amount of culture that they have that we don't have right now in Belize, that we are lacking. They know which part of India their ancestors came from. They could show you the list of names and the ship that brought the ancestors. Here we don't have that. We don't even have an Indian arrival day here in Belize. They have that. Guyana, Suriname, they have that. So that is a level that I want to see that we get here to Belize. Right now, the Monday, 24th of October, is going to be Diwali. And not much of our local East Indians know about Diwali, know about Pagwa, know about who is Lord Shiva. Who is Krishna? Who are the, the deities that are portrayed through this dance style that I do? Nitch and uh, Bra Obi to go and play with them in the band, Bra Obi's band. Musa told me we wanted the drum, we wanted to play Shaka for Karifesta. I said, Where? Trinidad. Right away, I said, Musa, yes, 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 I'm going, I want to go. So, Mitch was able to get everything on their end for us to go. We went and my experience was so beautiful. I literally cried. I didn't want to come back home to Belize. That's how much amazing it was. The, the food, the culture, the smell of the, 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 the curry, the takari, the kohun. Well, they have like a version of kohun cabbage cross there. The smell of the, the incense, the myrrh, the the culture, the religious part of the culture, the spirituality that we don't have here, that we don't practice here. For me, I want to go back. I am slowly going back to Hinduism, Sanatan Dharma, which is the correct word for Hinduism. So for me, Lord Krishna, Lord Shiva, and Kalima or Durga, Shakti are my three aspects of God that I, I adore. I elevate to, no? So, when I get there, seeing puja stores, puja is like um, like church service, I guess you could say. The best way I could describe it to you. So it's like a adoration to God in the Indian version of the culture. No? So every lane, every street have a puja store. Has the, the how do I say, 
the things that you are needing for a puja, the the bowl, the plate, the arati plate, the Ganges water, the murti of the deity. So each street have that, or a street will have like a, another mandir or Hindu temple, or maybe on the next side have a masjid for the Muslims. And you see how people of all different backgrounds they come together. Muslim, Creole, East Indian, they all come together and intermingle and they talk to one another and they have no animosity. I saw no kind of racism, no prejudice, nothing like that when I was there in Karifesta in 2019 and also too for Nagar in 2019 of October. So this year will make about what, three, four years now I was there <laughs> pretty much. It was an amazing experience there in Trinidad for both Karifesta and uh, Trinidad, uh, Diwali Nagar. Diwali now is the festival of lights where this Monday coming right here, the 24th of October, people all over the world will be celebrating Diwali by putting small lamps, called the lamps, around their houses, people giving gifts, wearing new clothes, bursting up firecrackers, and coming together to joyfully express and symbolize and celebrate Ram's Rama journey to save his wife Sita from the demon king Ravana. So it's a story that tells good over evil, light over darkness. Jagadishwara Devi Uvaneshwari Sadurvedi Paripurana Kalevani Karunagari Agila
So a lot of people ask me, where will I go with this now? Or where, where, where are you going with, with this? It? Right. So what I want to do is I want to implement a dance group. I want to go back to Trinidad or even to Guyana to learn more from my dance teacher in Trinidad. Or if I could learn from a dance teacher or guru in Guyana, I could learn more from them. Stay there like maybe a couple of months, like three, four months, five months there about. Come back to Belize and teach the new knowledge that I've come with to other people, other people in Belize. And that could be, I don't care if you're, you're East Indian, if you're Creole, if you're Mestizo, whatever. Once you are willing and want to learn this dance style, I'll be able to teach it. And I want to create my own dance group. That's what I want to do. Do, do you have a number where they can reach you? Yes, 630-4582. Again, Come again? 630-4582. Or you can message me on Facebook as Dwayne Morio. D-W-A-Y-N-E-M-U-R-I-L-L-O. Or you could check out my Facebook page for the dancing specifically called Nataraja Prince. N-A-T-A-R-A-J-A -A -A, Prince And What message do you have for the youth today that would like to learn or just an um, insight of an example for them? Do the best that you can do If you Whatever gift that the Almighty give you If it's a painting, drawing, singing Don't let anybody stop you or tell you you can't do it or you know, discourage you Do it that is a God-given gift. Let it shine. Don't hide it. Don't be shy or don't let anybody discourage you and, because, and tell you that won't work or whatever. Do it. That is the best way you could do is to, to be inspired. That is what I want to do. I'm trying to inspire others to my dance that perhaps they could say, hey, he's doing dancing. They might do dance. They might do singing or whatever. But keep on doing whatever that makes you happy. Whether it be dancing, singing, drama, whatever it is, continue to do it. For me, when I dance, I feel alive. And I could attest to other dancers, they feel the same way. And people will sing. When they sing, they feel alive. They feel like all their words melt away. So once it makes you happy, do it. Keep on pushing your, your art, your talent. Don't hide it. Don't cover it up. Where, where in the country did you perform before from, from um, Corozal to PG to Paraguay? All over, all over. I went to what, Corozal. What particular place did you went more than one time? I would say more than one time would be PG and Corozal. And that they have what, a festival? Right. That, that every, that every year, it's only because of COVID now that the Kowich group, the NGO in Corozal, they don't have anything recently. For the past two years, I think it was because of COVID. But every year... Kowich would have their annual festival by the Roundhouse, by Corozal Town. Or in August time, they would have their annual East Indian pageant, whereby all the young ladies in Belize would come and uh, they would compete to get the crown to be called Miss East Indian Belize. And then they, whoever wins, would then go to Bel uh, Trinidad and compete with other girls from other areas in the Caribbean, such as Trinidad, Suriname, Guyana, the Amer and um, those who are from America as such, for the crown for Miss Nagar pageant, the, the queen. No? So that is one of the pageants that they have there in Corozal. When it comes to PG now, the Yellow Ginger Festival is one of the annual festivals that I perform. Lovely festival, love the environment, love the ambience, love the energy. Food galore, takari, kuhun, cabbage, normal, normal, eating and food, can done. And every year I go for that event as well, I perform. And I'm always amping up my performances, both north and south. Uh, I performed as well at Stan Creek, Dangriga, when they have their different events at the schools. Uh, I performed at uh, Kikaka at Ocean Academy for their cultural night at times too. Uh, to the west, I've been to San, so, uh, San Ignacio, sorry, and Benke Viejo. A recent one, they had their talent night for the um, 21st of September celebration time. September time, no? So, I've been all over the country in Belize. And, like I said, I had the blessing to perform in Trinidad two times. The dancing. Lion Eye View TV. 
So in front of me here is the Civic Center. And everybody knows about Civic Center. So pretty much as a child growing up, I used to hear music and coming here, different concerts, like for example, Bangli concerts and the different activities they would have. For example, back in the days when I was growing up, this area was called Lake High. Now it turned to be picked up. But the area representative usually have different summer classes, workshop and such for the young generation coming up. So what they would do would have different concerts and such in the civic center. So I am very happy and pleased to know that they have renovated it to what it is now. And to what this grandeur of a statue that it is right now because it has the potential to could hold more people, more events. It has different changing rooms. For example, like myself who do dancing and such like that, we can then perform, have changing room. There's a little part downstairs for people to park their cars. So that's very innovative that they are becoming more modernized, just like the Americas and people like in the US, in Trinidad, anywhere else that did, is progressing. Did you perform here? Did you perform here one time? No, I haven't performed in the Civic Center as yet, but I want to. And hopefully maybe next year when they have different events for September time that I'll be able to perform then.